Yours sincerely, Professor Popper, PhD, BC, BSC, Hans, DPG. Direct. Oh, pussy, pussy grabbing. <laughs> Direct pussy grabbing. Not off to any side, not up and down, right Direct. in the middle. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. My name is Graham. Hi, I'm Dave. This is Perfect Date, a game where I think you, I think we date cats. I don't know if it's cats dating cats or humans dating cats. These are the cats are smooching, so it's probably cats dating. Yeah, cats. we're probably a cat dating some more cats. I think I'd be a little uncomfortable by it if it was humans dating cats. Humans dating cats. Yeah, Let's I don't know if out. I really want that. I guess we can take a gl- glimpse at how to. If you're feeling a little spicy <laughs> by left clicking this icon. <laughs> How is that? Because it's hard. Is that smooth. different at all, though? Is it spicier no, in some I way? Don't think it okay. Is. <laughs> Rest to restore health. Running out of heart chain consequences. Okay. Good to know. Finishing three research events. This, this is a dating simulator, right? Will <laughs> result in the completion of your contract, ending your current chapter. So make sure you've done everything you want before finishing your research for the professor. Are you researching these cats Wonderful. by. By, by fucking them? It's going to be Professor Oak, I hope. <laughs> Keep an eye out for anything odd. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it may lead you to some fun extras. Okay, I'm in. Endings found. How many endings are there? Whoa, what? 18. <laughs> Jeez, okay, that's cool. Lots to do. Current playthrough. No game in progress. Well, let's start let's a new game. Let's make a game. I think that's the solution to that. Ooh, looks... We are a people... Ooh, I like her cornrows. <laughs> who looks most excited? And who looks less like they're... Who, who looks like they're most in it for the scientific reasons and less least in it for the fondling the cat, cats cat fondling. reasons? Uh, yeah. I'd say nerdy scientist. She wants to fondle some cats. Cat looks like a cat fondler. He wants... He's, he's so tired. No, he, yeah, he's done nothing because he's, he's been fondling cats all night. Yeah, so he's got a nice necklace, though. I kind of want to be him. So he hypnotizes them. Who do, who do you want to be? I want to be Cool Necklace Man. He's the one that I think is most likely to touch these cats inappropriately. Maybe I have some ulterior motives. <laughs> you want to touch the cats inappropriately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, he yeah. looks much more handsome in the picture. It's a bit of a silly smile he's got going on there. Oh, they look all... Oh, he's got a blonde... What, what's that? A here? fade? fade? No, the, the, the eraser head. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Fade is like the side. The he does have shape. a fade. He does have a fade, right? eraser head. <laughs> Is that what that's called? I don't know. It's kind of like a giant eraser. <laughs> kind of. You want to be that guy? Yeah, though? Oh, he's, he's a Y five O. What are we gonna name him? You can choose the name. Chloe. Ch- I think that's Chlo. Henry. Nah. Keith. Oh, I hate Keith. Ethan. All Terrible. These, all these Joan. are like all these are like regular names. Luke. I thought he would have a weird name. Like a like a like a mm, like a weird name like a like a Henry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think of a, a, a cat name, like a, like if a, if you know how sometimes you name a cat like Bob or Gary or something. What is like a cat name that he could have like Boots? Felix. <laughs> oh, Felix. Yeah. I like Felix. That's Go a good one. Felix. Name. Should he have a last name? Felix Boots. Felix R. Boots. <laughs> oh, oh, Felix R. Boots. That's not enough. Uh, we'll just go with Felix. His last name is R. Boots. Trust us. <laughs> Not middle initial and no. last name is just... Autosave feature, yeah. I'm an angel and I accept. That's true. I'm Felix the angel. Aww. Saving. That cat's look like he's having fun. So yeah, are we only going to see girl cats now because we're a dude? What no. That would have been opposite? It doesn't matter. Oh, you think we can do boy cats? They're all felines. It's close enough to females. <laughs> I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear that the deck lad shout. I'm gonna De- get spicy. Deck lad? Deck lad. <laughs> Is this deck Joe the deck lad? Yeah, that's Joe. Island approach, make yourself ready. I'm finally here. When I applied last month, I was just another broke student living off baked beans. I didn't really think I had a chance of being accepted to part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. Was that a real option? Is that a career path I could have followed? Yep. I said you're just making videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I study birds sometimes, <laughs> plants sometimes, start not studying cats. cats. I gotta get in on the cat island. Yet here it is, the little black dot in the distance growing bigger by the second. It's the infamous cat island. 
the place I will call home for the next few months. Oh, that's a long game. <laughs> My heart momentarily skips a beat. What if there's been a mistake? What if they accepted someone else's application and accidentally sent the offer to me? I rummage about in my bag until I find the papers. Oh, it's probably pretty expensive to send you here. They might as well, they're probably committed now. It doesn't matter. They're not going to send you home. The DP Corporation. Direct Pets. I don't know if that's right. I think it stands for something a little bit more uh, X-rated. Dear Felix, we are pleased to be able to offer you the position of research assistant to Professor Popper. Oh, that's funny. Nice. The, good. We made the right choice. Yeah. The other pe- the other characters in this game are going to have kitty cat names. Yeah, we're right in it. <laughs> the position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. Yours sincerely, Professor Popper, PhD, BC, BSC, Hans, DPG. Direct. Oh, pussy, pussy grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Direct pussy grabbing. Not off to any side, not up and down, right Direct. in the middle. No, no mistake. That's my name. Right there in the top left in the corner. Felix. And there's his name at the bottom. The genius behind this whole operation. Professor Popper. Oh, science first. genius and my new boss. What is his first name? Probably Frank. Frank Popper? <laughs> I look up for my papers. See dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rocks. You gotta make sure you don't get Professor Popper mixed up with Mr. Popper and his penguins. Pop- Ooh, Popper penguins. Popper does cats, Popper does penguins. Gotta keep that straight in your mind. We can play a penguin. We already did play a penguin game. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we already did do Penguin Island. Yeah, penguin. <laughs> gotta keep these suck. straight. As we get closer, we're not slowing down, and I begin to worry that we're gonna crash right into them. Then, at the very last moment, we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly we're sailing smoothly towards a jetty through an opening in the rocks. Yeah, you know, a jetty. Like a, like a Volkswagen? It's uh, a yeah. Jetta? <laughs> <laughs> I blow out the breath that I've been holding in and break into a smile. Which is it break into a dance. Nicely done, Skipper. Is is Joe also the Skipper? Is he the dock lad and the Skipper? Oh, so it's just me and Joe on the boat. <laughs> He's the captain and the first mate and the, the, the poop boy. The poop boy. The ferryman comes out from the behind the steering wheel, ignoring my attempt at... That's camaraderie. Camaraderie? No, there's no in camaraderie. <laughs> Come, camaraderie. You're thinking, you're thinking of commodity. This commodity. is camaraderie. Camaraderie. <laughs> and shouts rather brusquely. Don't know that Someone word. whipped out a thesaurus for this, didn't they? Whoa. Bob and Joe, take all your belongings. We won't be back for days, so don't leave nothing you'll need. I'll just need my catnip. I think he means Thank two you. weeks. He said days. And yeah, we know you guys aren't coming on Cat Island because they got regular human names. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the distinction. Smile weakly at the ferryman and his son picks up my bags and ready to disembark. We glide seamlessly up to the wooden jetty. Oh, it is a Volkswagen made out of wood. <laughs> and the like sun one of those wood paneled side things. <laughs> and the sun leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in uniform who I take to be a security officer of some kind. Tie us off? You, like a like a, you guys get ready to shoot to shoot up a little? What was Zane Jones? Oh, is this guy he's from the island, I he think. He looks right? handsome. Like, he used to be handsome, I guess. He's a little old. Joe. Sir, caught you a mouse. And oh, then he laughs loudly as... We're the mouse. Felix is the mouse. Oh, <laughs> as though he said the funniest thing he's ever heard. It's very discerning. Disconsenting? <laughs> We're Dis- <tough>. Disconcerting. <laughs> the security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. I don't know why I read one of your... Whatever. I gave up. Oh, let's be having you then. Everyone oh. hop on board my VW. He holds out his large hand, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boat. But as I reach out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance so that I almost fall over the side. What a great start. <laughs> this guy's a dick. He's just a prankster. He's zany. He's just being he's... a little... He's just being zany. ID card. Oh, I see. Of course. Oh, so he wasn't, yeah, back he wasn't trying to hand over hand. the lottery card I was given on the mainland. I thought he was just being a dink. <laughs> no, he's here for business only. My name's Felix. My date was, it was the very first day of the very first month of 2017. Look at those cats got X's on their mouths. <laughs> Security. Yeah, I'm so stoked. Gotta keep those kitty cats in line. It's a ruly bunch. Whoa! Disco cat, I want to date him. Maybe we aren't. Maybe we aren't dating cats. Uh, it's smooching in the picture. It though. said it was a dating cat game. Yeah, it seemed like it. He barely looks at it before striding off, grunting over his shoulder. <laughs> this way. 
<laughs> I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush and green. I'm already under its spell. Ooh, it's a magical island. Magical cat island. After no more than a couple of minutes of trekking, we're in base camp, which consists of an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid-looking structures, one larger and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. I thought it was going to be people. Big structured people. Just, more, just some... More burly men. Yeah, we, we don't want that, though. We don't... We... Oh, because then it'll make us look like less of a man. Yeah, yeah, we gotta... We, I don't want to be competing with a couple of, like... Burly men. <laughs> Adonises. Well, we're, we're just sitting here pushing up our glasses and trying to, trying to sound smart. The whole camp is moderate, but functional. It reminds me of an army outpost. I'm struck by a lack of people. In fact, there's no one around apart from an older woman sitting outside peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her a little nod, but she just stares back at me. Mrs. Marigold. I'm getting a creepy vibe from this island. I try not to get paranoid. Nah, too late. Yeah, I'm Maximum all paranoia. This sweet tent. Here. He stopped at the largest of the tents, indicating that I should go inside. I feel rude just walking in, so I make my presence known first. Um, hello? It's probably, probably our own tent, isn't it? A firm but friendly voice calls out. Come. Ooh, we got Proffer. Yeah, I like I like Popper's hair there. Oh, Ooh, his gap tooth. I walk in and there he is, hunched over some documents. The great Professor Popper. <laughs> Sir, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, yes. You must be Felix. Come on in, my dear. <laughs> I feel like he should be a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> Glad to have you on board. Scientist. Good yeah. journey. There's a very particular character I have in mind right now, but I don't know what. Well, it was long. Yes, indeed. We're rather tucked away here. Let me offer you some refreshment. Water, coffee, something stronger, perhaps. Whiskey? You like whiskers. Whiskey. Oh, that's funny. I kind of want, <laughs> want some coffee. Uh, but that's not an option. Somehow that's not an option. Oh, if there's a pond on the go, that's not not tea. Get out of here. Well, I guess I'll have some whiskey. Yeah, get drunk with Popper. Well, if you're having one, it'd be rude to let you drink whiskey on your own. Jolly good. I can tell you and I are going to get along famously. He takes a swig from the bottle and passes it to me. I try not to show <laughs> myself. Straight out of the bottle. <laughs> and serpentously? <laughs> Wipe the neck with my sleeve before taking a modest sip. Look how messy this room is. This guy just gets loaded in here and plays with cats and gets drunk on whiskey. And it'll take you a while to find your way around and discover how it all works. So for today, I thought I would just get you kitted out. And maybe introduce you to some of the local locals. The, the cats, that is. I believe you already met most of the human locals. Oh, I've only met the ferryman and the security guard who brought me here. Yes, that's about it. And the lady outside? Oh, Mrs. Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretakers. Wonderful people, the Marigolds. You'll meet them before too long. We're a tidy little family here, Felix, and I'm sure you'll fit in nicely. Thank you, sir. I sure hope so. This guy's a freak. Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty polite overall, but I may, I think I'm, yep. make, I'm adding a layer. <laughs> You're adding something completely different. First things first, this is your basic kit. What do we got? What do we got? He begins going through a pile of things on his desk, explaining each of them in turn. <laughs> I hope it's just a pile of like trash and shit that he has on his desk. None of it's relevant. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it. We will be going on plenty of field trips, so it will be very useful. As will your own water bottle. What the fuck character am I thinking of? It's not Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound's like Snagglepuss. Snagglepuss, Snagglepuss is yeah, who I'm thinking yeah. of, but I can't. I can't picture exactly. Not a good Snagglepuss. <laughs> I can't picture exactly what he sounds like though. Oh, I probably had Snagglepuss on the brain because he's a cat. Oh yeah, <laughs> very cat themed. Some disinfected hand spray. Ah, these are heavy-duty reinforced gloves, which are essential when tagging cats out in the wild. 
Were there like panthers and shit on this island? I hope not. Don't want any scratches from felines. We don't now, now do we? I suppose not. <laughs> this I is a good point there, Popper. I shove each item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Oh, likewise, these goggles are to be brought along on all field trips. This lot here. He indicates to a small pile of what looks like laundry. His basic uniform, lab coats, masks, stethoscope, etc. It'll also be your bed. <laughs> He'll be sleeping on piles of my own dirty laundry. Portable first aid kit, camping knife with all tool attachments. Finally, and without doubt, most importantly... Oh, jeez. Oh, the kid oh, kitty dex. Kitty dex. This... He holds up something that looks a lot like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't Clearly. <laughs> clearly <laughs> isn't a mobile phone. This is your catalog. <laughs> I'm particularly proud of that name. Catalog? <laughs> yes, allow me to explain it to you and spell it out for you so that you can understand the pun appropriately. See, a catalog... <laughs> is a thick magazine that normally contains information about furniture and department store items. <laughs> but this is the log of cats, you see. So it is a catalog, spelt like C-A-T, with some hyphens, as you see. And it's the log. <laughs> I don't, what did he say? Anything you, important you, there at all? You know, you, you pretty much summed it up. <laughs> I didn't look at the... You, you, hit, you hit the major points of what it was. Hopefully you read it in case it's relevant. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a log for your cats. That's pretty much all he said. Okay, good. Now, you see, normally catalogs would have pictures of, you know, dresses and uh, toaster ovens. This one, pictures of cats. <laughs> and you can, you can listen to music and uh, take photos. There's even a pen that comes out with it to insert microchips into the back of the cat's necks so we can keep track of them. It also kind of looks like you communicate with the rest of the team. Not that important. <laughs> There's only like two other people on the team. It's a very valuable piece of equipment, Felix, and I need you to protect it above all else. Do you understand? He's looking, <laughs> looking me directly in the eye and clearly expects a response. He yes, sir. grabs me by the shoulders and starts pulling me in closer. <laughs> I will look after it. He never <laughs> stops meeting my gaze as he dares deeper and deeper into my soul. Good. <laughs> You'll get to know all the functions as you go along. But for now, I suggest we take a stroll and see if we can't find a few friends to introduce you to so you can give it a try out. Oh, eat me cats. He hands me the gadget. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but also really keen to have a go. Really keen to maybe have a go away from this guy? I'd take a break yeah, from Popper? I don't really like Popper. I'm a little keen to have a break from Popper. <laughs> it takes some commitment. Maybe it's the next time? Next time we get to meet some kitty cats? Yeah, well, we'll go meet some kitty cats and some, make some friends. Maybe go on a couple hot dates. Maybe if the, if the opportunity arises, maybe you could ask him to explain the catalog again. I don't think I get it. <laughs> I don't know what its purpose is. Pretty much just like a catalog that you'd get in a store, except it has cats in it. That uh, you have to put in. I'm gonna need a more in-depth explanation. <laughs> it's unclear to everyone. Everyone in the room, everyone watching, no one gets uh, no it. No one gets it. 